टुडे आई नरेंद्र पाल सिंह रूपरा एडवोकेट हैव कंप्लीटेड 39 नाइन ईयर्स ऑफ माई प्रैक्टिस एज एन एडवोकेट इन द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एट जबलपुर I got enrolled on 4/8/1984 and wore my black coat first on 7th August 1984 though I am touching 62 I am fighting fit like a young man with regular yoga and lawn tennis at least 5 days a week I was born on 38/1961 to Sadar Hari Singh Rupra senior advocate and Mrs Avtar Rupra at Jabalpur I adored my father's profession who was an advocate and decided to be one myself. I was very meritorious student right from the beginning. I was also a very good basketballer, a long distance runner. My timing of 6 kilometers run was 19 minutes 42 seconds. I passed out from St Aloysius School Sadar Jawalpur. Did my BSc first year from Government Science College. and got more marks than most of my meritorious friends who became doctors but that was not my line hence i switched to arts from second year which was possible in those days i did my ba from st louis college in first division llb from rani durgavati vishwavidyalaya in 1984 topping the university each year along with me in the merit list were the great orator chief justice of up preetinkar devakar justice rohit arya a highly sophisticated gentleman rakesh singh district judge and an encyclopedia of ipc and crpc pritpal singh bains ips and captain sunil sharma chief justice retired of west bengal that is prakash shrivastava was my classmate in ba and was a thorough gentleman even then all these colleagues of mine have done extremely well in their careers and have brought laurels to their families i met satish sharma the present chief justice of delhi high court in 1984 when we started our practice together he was very intelligent hard working very loving and caring towards all his friends including me ravi jha the present chief justice of punjab and haryana high court also my schoolmate was a junior to shri p p navlekar advocate who later rose to be a judge of the supreme court he was a boy of a very good character no vulgar talk i was taught by many good teachers in the school and in college i owe a lot of thanks and regards to my mom late mrs avtar rupra and to late mr dennis daniel who taught me grammar mr daga who taught me chemistry miss dennis lobo who taught me literature in ba late justice kk adhikari who taught me evidence act and justice sc pande who taught me law of property as a student i got admission in chicago university for llm on scholarship but in those days there was a concept of brain drain means when india has made you an advocate you serve this country and not another best brain should not go abroad so i stayed here i also got through cds exam and was selected to be a lieutenant in the army but did not join i also reached the final stage of ias exam but did not appear on the second occasion lest i may get selected and my father would compel me to join the service i was crazy for legal profession advocate advocate and nothing else was my ambition my wife amrit had got to civil judge exam when she got engaged to me but i did not permit her to join saying that there is nothing better than advocacy I gave her the option of doing some service in Jabalpur but she chose the legal profession but I was happy when chief justice Shri A M Khan Vilkar took her consent for elevation as a judge of this court everything was cleared after some time but one of my old friends 
Chief Justice P. Devakar forewarned me that Amrit's name would not be cleared from Delhi because her name finds place in a list of seven persons, one of whom is a lady having strong recommendations of Congress party and this is BJP government. Oh, what politics! Though my dad was a congressman and my first cousin Trilochan Singh, Rupra's senior advocate, is a strong man of BJP, me and my wife never associated ourselves with any political party. Anyway, as fate would have it, the entire list was disapproved by government. Justice Kemkar, the, gen, the then administrative judge of Mumbai High Court, rang me up and said, Why are you so sad now? Do you remember that in my presence, you told the then Chief Justice Ravindran that you are not interested to be a High Court judge? I do not remember any such thing, but I know that I am a different material. Amrit, however, is so sober and fit to be a High Court judge. But biggest solace came from Justice Rajendra Menon. It is not a loss to your family, Guinea. It is a greater loss to the institution that it has missed such a good judge in Amrit. Very, very consoling and comforting words, he said. I have seen so many judges since 1984 till date. I can authoritatively say that Justice Rajin Menon is the best or perhaps at least one of the best judges since 1984 till date. Extraordinary intelligence, speed, relief-oriented, did not carry anything, belonged to a very good office of late Shri P.S. Nair and Mrs. Nair is still practicing. Justice Rajin Menon is undoubtedly a superman. I am sure that Armed Force Tribunal is greatly benefited by his becoming its chairman. In my profession, I appeared to be very promising in the beginning also. My dad, late Hari Singh Rupra advocate, was a simple man who did not know how to capitalize his relations with the Home Minister of India for his personal gains. Only advantage he took from his relations with Gyanizel Singh Ji was to open first college of the six in Jabalpur, namely Shri Guru Tegh Bahadur Khalsa College, Jabalpur. And now, after five or six years of his going to his heavenly abode, me, my wife, we have opened a law college in the name of Hari Singh Rupra only. Hari Singh Rupra College would not have come into existence but for the active cooperation of Shri Purshendra Kaurav, the then Additional Advocate General of Madhya Pradesh, now Judge of the Delhi High Court, Shri Mrigen Singh, Senior Advocate, and Dr. Jitendra Dam- Jamdar, whom I will never forget. I started learning civil and criminal trials in the beginning of career. Then I got entry into insurance companies and literally conquered that branch of litigation. Once upon a time, I held about 20% or more of the briefs in the High Court on Motor Vehicles Act. At that time, there were only four insurance companies, namely New India, United, National and Oriental. Then my interest and fate plunged me into service matter practice and by now, I have done thousands and thousands of cases of service law. The third field which I covered was arbitration, both private arbitration before arbitrator and the litigation of the High Court arising out of arbitration. I have done thousands of criminal cases also, but I am not so famous in criminal law. I have argued and succeeded in hundreds of criminal cases, but my civil and constitutional practice occupies me so much that I cannot counter the propaganda against me, which brands me as a civil and constitutional lawyer. Okay, fine. There are only 24 hours in a day and I cannot work more, so no problem. Oh, one client of mine 
which has served for many many years was indian railways till january february 2022 when government decided to disband the whole panel of railway and send the files to regular councils comparing for union of india as a standing council and later as a senior council for railway i have done more number of cases than probably any other railway advocate of jabalpur but that is not the end of the story each and every railway officer strongly recommended my continuation in the railway panel as a special counsel one officer praised my command over the subject and sincerity and another said it is impossible to find a substitute of mr n s rupra i am out of railway but i have no words to thank these railway officers for the kind words they have written about me relieved from railway i found a gold mine so many cases and so good money and the best part is that your private clients take you to supreme court as lawyers out there are very costly my frequent appearances in the supreme court are very satisfying to me i have been appreciating the difference between the manner of preparation of appearances before the high court and the supreme court i nearly memorized the whole file for appearing in a case before the supreme court with latest case laws on your tablet or in your printouts by the way though my clients pay me very well i do not in- differentiate between the rich and the poor my greatest satisfaction is to serve those who cannot afford my services but it appears that the future course of my practice will be determined by my son naptej singh rupra advocate